Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to this mindful movement session. I am Marissa Steffen, a pelvic floor physical therapist at Pelvic Health and Rehabilitation Center. Joining me today is my lovely colleague, Kara Charette, and she will demonstrate the class. This video will guide you through a self-evolving pelvic mobilization meditation with breath support. So go ahead and make yourself comfortable. That can be in the sitting position. It could even be done standing. If you're lying down, you can have pillow support underneath your thighs to support your hips, or you can be lying how Kara is lying on the floor with your knees bent and your feet standing on the floor. So here, just check in with your breath. Visualize where the diaphragm is at those lowest ribs, at your waist. Just getting yourself oriented to the space, this moment, the external sensations, the internal sensations. Checking in with your feet, all five toes on each side, the outsides of the feet, heels. I'm just noticing there's nothing to fix or change. Just, absor just observing where you are in this moment with your sensations. Noticing if one foot feels different than the other. Are there more contact points on one side than the other? And again, nothing to change. Just noticing. And as always, your breath is your friend. And then gently transitioning your tension up through the lower legs into the thighs. Noticing where the thighs meet the hip joints. Noticing if you are attending to one side more than the other. And if so, just maybe gently attend to the less aware side, breathing into that space. Moving up through the pelvic girdle, the reproductive organs are housed here. Moving up the rib cage, the spine, shoulders, and out the crown of the head. And noticing all the contact points where your head meets the surface if you're on the floor, where your arms meet the surface, contact points of your pelvic halves, and similar to the feet, just notice if one side feels different than the other and it's nothing to change. You are where you're supposed to be. Good. So throughout this video, the breath is your friend and it'll bring a softness to this movement exploration. I welcome you to visualize a clock. And that clock is going to be on your pelvis, where 12 o'clock is the pubic bone near the urethra, yes. Six o'clock is the tailbone 
near the rectum between the two sit bones. Three o'clock will be your left pelvic bone. And nine o'clock will be the right. So I invite you to do some gentle movements between neutral, so now you're at neutral, and 12 o'clock. So your pelvis is going to, yes, very subtly shift from neutral and then tilting up towards the pubic bone. Very good. You're gonna do that several times. Noticing how your feet play a role in this. Maybe there is a push in your feet in order to bring the pelvis up towards 12 o'clock. Good. And then gently resting your attention, noticing any changes in sensation after exploring that movement, that subtle movement. The next one, you'll go from neutral down to six o'clock. Bringing in a softness, noticing your breath. Notice if your breath is synced up with the movement, and if so, that's okay, but see if they can be two independent things where the breath is soft and smooth, and the pelvic movements are also soft and smooth, both in maybe their own timing, independent of each other. And maybe there is a pulling motivation that comes from the feet that then drives the pelvis towards six o'clock. Good, and then resting your attention Noticing any changes in sensation after that work. Very good. We're gonna put those two together. So you're going to do 12 o'clock to six o'clock. And as you do this several times, uh, notice if there are is any discomfort with this? And if so, see if making it smaller makes it feel better. Notice what it does to the rest of your spine. How is your head responding to these movements? Very good. So it's everything from the feet to the pelvis, out the crown of the head with breath support. Lovely. Good. And then resting your attention. At any point, you can always change your position so that you're comfortable. So if you want to lengthen your legs for a moment, you're welcome to do that. Good. Just resting your attention. And then when you're ready, if possible, bending one knee up at a time, yes. Now we're going to explore three o'clock. So visualizing three o'clock at your left pelvic bone. I'm gonna go from neutral to three. And notice your feet here. Can you press that right foot gently into the floor to initiate the pouring into that left hip? And if your knees are moving a lot with this, that's okay, that's pretty common, but see if you can keep your knees where they are like Kara's doing. Good. And then resting your attention 
gently transitioning to nine o'clock. Visualizing nine o'clock on that right hip. And then going from neutral to nine. Notice that this side feels different than the other side. Nothing to judge or fix. Just notice. As you gently push into that left foot, pouring your weight into that right pelvic bone. And then resting your attention. Noticing any differences in sensations after exploring that movement. Now we're going to put the two together. So you're going to go from neutral to three and then to nine. And you're going to go back and forth from three to nine. And make sure that it's a direct line. So it's going completely horizontal from one side to the other. Notice if there's any, uh, if it's maybe like 2.30 and 8.30, instead make it clearly three to nine. Very good. Soft, smooth, easy, slow breathing. Great. Good. And then rest your attention. You're welcome to lengthen your legs if you want. Take a couple of breaths here. Turn off your brain. Good. And then when you're ready, you're gonna bring your feet back to standing, if that's comfortable for you. And now we're gonna put it all together. So it'll be from neutral to 12, to 3, to 6, 9, and back to 12. And as you go through this several times, notice if any quadrant feels different than the others. Are you truly, are you truly making it from 12 to 1, to two, each hour on that clock. Very good. And then rest your attention. You're gonna reverse the direction. So now you're gonna go from neutral to 12, to 11, 10. And again, noticing if there's any quadrant that feels less smooth. And I welcome you to explore that part of the quadrant, wherever that is, wherever that might be for you. And try to reach those hours in the quadrant. Noticing how your feet initiate the movements. Notice how your head responds. And letting your breath be easy. Very good, and then rest your attention. I'm gonna tell you what the next thing will be. So before you do anything, you'll just listen to me. 
If you're lying down, you're going to transition to hands and knees. If you're sitting, you may stay, you may stay sitting if you want or come to hands and knees and same with standing. So if you can, go ahead and transition. Good, to hands and knees. And then once you're here, notice your breath. Notice how your pelvis might feel different after exploring the pelvic clock. And now we're going to do the pelvic clock in this position. And as you do this, uh, maybe instead of a clock, you can visualize your kidneys. So you're gonna start with what was three and nine o'clock, but now visualize your kidneys and where they are in the low back, that space that feeds into the pelvis, the top of the pelvis. You're moving side to side, moving from the kidneys. And, with, and always with breath support, because our kidneys need the oxygen. And then rest your attention. You're always welcome to go into child's pose for a moment if your arms get tired. Yeah. And in child's pose, your rib cage is nice and free, so you can really enjoy this diaphragmatic breathing here to savor the expansiveness of the inhales and the letting go during the exhales. Very good. And then when you're ready, gently transition you back to hands and knees. And then now you're going to go from 12 to six o'clock. Visualize the reproductive organs here, moving from those organs, maybe the ovaries or the testicles. Or the uterus. Letting the bladder move. And then how does that sensation travel up to the intestines? Small intestine, large intestine. And the diaphragm massaging these organs as you move. Very good. Moving up to the lungs. How do the lungs participate? The right lobe, the left lobe. The heart is supported by the lungs on that left side. Energy out the crown of the head soft jaw, soft tongue. Very good, and then resting your attention, gently resting in child's pose. We'll end here. So taking a couple of breaths here and you're welcome to use a bolster or a pillow if you need for support. So that you can appreciate the diaphragmatic breathing the slowest ribs moving at your waist, the, the 12th rib, the 11th rib, 10th rib. Diaphragm attaches here in the sternum to these lowest ribs and to the lumbar spine is where Lots of muscles attach 
Kidneys are here, breathing into those organs. Noticing the gentle stretch in your pelvic floor. How does your pelvic floor respond to the diaphragmatic breathing? How does it soften? Very good. And then you're welcome to stay here for as long as you want, or you can gently transition into sitting and getting yourself ready for the rest of your day. Thank you.